Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you Cartagena. Cartagena is the fifth largest city in Colombia and is known for being one of the most beautiful cities in Latin America. This city is located one and a half hours away from Bogota and is one of the most magical places I've ever visited. In this video I'll show you around Cartagena and tell you everything you need to know about this beautiful city. Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to a new video. My name is Israel and today I'm going to show you Cartagena. Cartagena de Indias is a beautiful city located in northern Colombia. Cartagena is a beach destination, it's located in the Caribbean and is one of the most beautiful destinations in Latin America. If you're planning a trip here or you're curious to see how Cartagena is like, in this video I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this place where to eat, where to go, what places to visit. So two days ago I was in Bogota and Bogota is very different to Cartagena. The weather, the people, the food, everything changes so much. It feels like it's a different country. Like even the way people talk, I speak Spanish and they have a very different accent here. It feels like they are from Venezuela or Cuba. I don't know, their accent is very different to the accent in Bogota. The weather is obviously very different. Bogota was very rainy, very gray cold and here it's beautiful it's sunny and it's really warm it's a little bit humid actually I'm getting a little bit hot and it's very early right now it's 7 30 a.m. so to get to Cartagena you should take a flight because I think if you come here by bus or by car it's too long I don't recommend it I came here by airplane and I use an airline called Avianca if you're traveling Colombia I highly recommend Avianca it's a great airline they were always on time very organized, the airplanes were nice and nothing to complain about them. So I flew from El Dorado Airport to Cartagena Airport. Cartagena Airport is a very small airport and it's actually very near the city. So the Uber will be very cheap, it's not gonna be expensive. So I'm going to talk about the prices here, because Cartagena is a more touristy place, you will expect more expensive prices. And yeah, when I was searching for Airbnbs and hotels, the prices here were a lot higher than Medellin and Bogota. So yeah, I feel like this is probably the most expensive city in Colombia for accommodation. So if you come here, I recommend that you stay in Boca Grande. Boca Grande is where I'm staying and it's a nice area. Well, you can also stay in the historic center. However, I feel like here the prices are a lot higher and the hotels and the Airbnbs are a little bit older. So I don't know, I just thought Boca Grande looked better. The Airbnbs that I found there were a lot nicer, modern, beautiful, and they were actually a little bit cheaper. If you're gonna come to the historic center from Boca Grande, it's very easy. Just take an Uber, it'll take you five minutes to get here or you can walk as well but you know it's a long walk it'll be like a 30 minute walk and because it's so hot by the time you get here you might be like all sweaty so there is something you should know that happens here in Colombia sometimes sometimes when they see that you're a tourist they will overcharge you and that's actually very common it happened to me already two times and oh, it's so annoying because now I feel like I don't know who to trust I don't know, I feel like when I travel, I like to feel like I can trust people and that they're giving me the correct price because it doesn't feel good to go to a place and then they overcharge you and it happened to me already twice. So, you know, just be careful and keep in mind that that happens here sometimes. If you're gonna buy a souvenir or you're gonna buy a tour or something, try to ask a local or other places because you cannot really trust them. I mean, I'm sorry, I don't want to talk bad about Colombia. I love Colombia, I think it's an amazing place. 
but it's something that you should know and you should take care because you know it might happen to you it happened to me already and it is what it is you know So right now I am in Plaza de la Proclamación. It's a beautiful square and next to me it's a very beautiful cathedral and I feel like it's the symbol of Cartagena. It's so beautiful and I'm gonna fly my drone here and I'm gonna show you guys how this area looks like from above. Uh, in front of me there's a very beautiful park where there's people sitting, there's ladies making their fruits they're gonna sell later. There are many squares here. If you walk around this historic center there are squares everywhere it's absolutely amazing. So I just arrived to El Castillo de San Felipe de Barajas, which is a very popular uh, landmark here in Cartagena in a place that you don't want to miss this place has the best view in the city and you have to go up by foot so that's what we're gonna do now normally here uh, it's very hot and humid so just be prepared I think I should have brought my shorts because going up with jeans it's very it gets really hot so So I made it to the top, I am in the top of the castle and I feel like this is the place to take an amazing picture of Cartagena. Look at that, you can see the Colombian flag uh, behind me and all the buildings from Boca Grande and the water, it looks so amazing. I love this place, I feel like this was one of my favorite spots in the city and if you are in Cartagena, you cannot miss it. By the way, I can fly my drone here, it's forbidden. So, I'm sorry, this is all you get. So, I got pretty hungry and I came to a restaurant called Restaurante Mar de las Antillas, which is in the historic center of Cartagena. And a lot of locals recommended it. They told me that this place serves very authentic and very delicious food. So, I asked the waiter what he recommended and he told me that he recommends bandeja caribeña. Apparently, that is the most typical thing to have here in Cartagena and that's what I ordered. So, my food just arrived. It comes with a fresh fish. This fish is called pargo and it's a local fish, so obviously it's going to be very fresh. They also give you this, which is called patacón, which is a plantains, like a plantain tostada. And then it comes with rice and it also comes with some salad. Mm. Now we're going to try the fish. This fish looks so good. Wow, it's so good. It has so much flavor. I think it's one of the best fishes I've tried. So fresh. Mm. So if you want to try some local food that is very authentic and very, very delicious, I highly recommend this restaurant. Come here, check it out, it's very near the historic center and it's not that expensive. Carta 
Argentina is known for having amazing sunsets and the best place I found in the city to watch the sunset is this rooftop right here which is called Movich Cartagena de Indias and it's one of the best rooftops I've ever visited so if you are in Cartagena don't forget to check it out. So what do you guys think about Cartagena? Do you think it's a city worth visiting? Thank you very much for watching till the end and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys on my next video. Adios.